to that again, please, Jamie? So when it's taking off, how fast, when, when it just sort of like leaves the field of view and takes off to the left, how fast is that going? Uh, I would say pretty fast. It's an estimate. If we had ranging, you know, you could obviously do the triangle and go, hey, because we mm-hmm. know how big the field of view is. But for something to leave the field of view that fast with the pod just staring is pretty fast. I mean, it, it just, it's like out of here. Like nothing that we have? No, because we can't, I don't care what airplane is. So let's just use the F-22 Raptor. That's probably one of the, it's, it's probably the best airplane in the world right now, performance-wise. Um, it can't take off like that, it, especially if it's a hover. I mean, you're, you're talking something that's just sitting in space in the wind, and then it just all of a sudden accelerates. Airplanes don't work that way. And it's not leaving any exhaust plume. No, notice there's none. And when Play you go back again, to the Jamie IR. At the end? Even in the IR, you don't Yeah, see, see there's IR zoomed in, and there's no, you would see a plume if that was an airplane. It's creepy how it takes off. Yeah. With active jamming, it's intelligently controlled. There's no rotors. There's no plumes. There's no exhaust. There's no tail fin. There's no uh, tail number. This thing goes from a standstill, takes off. It's a propulsion system we don't have in our inventory, and no other nation does. That's how it's understood by the government. Now, that that's so if the fastest plane on Earth was trying to do that same maneuver, this system would be able to track it? Um, yeah, well, yeah, it would stay with it until it got to the, the limits of the pod, you know, mm-hmm. as far as looking to the left. But right. uh, And, you know, the radar would see it. I mean, when you get, you get close enough, you're going to, you know, you, everything becomes visible because you get burned through with radar and how, how radars actually work. This one is, you know, <laughs> you, you tell me, but it, it, this was it, performance beyond. I mean, it's like when we saw it disappear – when it flew in front of my nose, and I'm talking something, I'm, I'm within a half mile of it, looking at it, and it gets in front of me and just disappears. So take, we'll just go to something that everyone knows is fast. Let's just say SR-71 that's doing Mach 3. You know, the visibility is 50 miles. So even at 35 miles a minute, I'm going to be able to see this thing turn into a little dot as it goes off into the horizon for probably a minute. The thing that we saw disappeared in a second. Just gone. And that's from two different angles. Remember, the other airplane's 8,000 feet above me because we, we get close to it at about 12,000 feet. So the other airplane's above me looking down, and when it disappeared, I said, do you guys see it? And they said, no, it's gone. It just literally was poof. 